As always, a huge thanks to these wonderful YouTubers who helped get me started. Please check all of them out. They have some great channels. Hey everyone, I'm back again. I was actually gonna not make a video so soon. I was gonna take a little break. I feel like I've been making a lot of videos, but I did receive in today the Anycubic Bioresin. This is a pink bioresin. This supposedly is non-toxic. Is that true? I don't know, because I'm not a scientist. I can't do a chemical analysis and test it. But if you look on their website, which I did, uh, it says it's made from soybean oil um, and supposedly non-toxic at all. And they say it's you know not as smelly, it's non-toxic. So I need to do a review on this, right? Because if it's truly non-toxic, then people like me who have uh, smaller rooms, but I'm using a charcoal filter, and I attach, you know, a, a something to a, a you know a mod to the exhaust port with an inline fan to vent to pull the fumes out, vent them through a charcoal filter. I'm doing all that. If this resin, this pink resin, if this is truly non-toxic and not as smelly, then hey, you know that's that's a good thing. I'll use it because. You know, as long as it, it prints okay, right? So, so let's first of all let's. I think what we need to do is test out. You know, it, is this smelly? Is it not smelly? Okay, it's it doesn't smell good. That's for sure. It's a pretty pink, which I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it into a clear glass so you can see. It's in my printer right now. If you hear in the background the printer running, I'm running a print with it. So let's we'll see how it prints out. Also, but anyway, it smells. Not bad, actually, but, you know, not sure it smells so good. I'll be right back as I bend down because I poured some in a cup here. So, you see it's a, it's a pretty pink color, and again, doesn't smell that bad. In fact, I don't know. Mmm, that, not bad at all. It doesn't, okay, I'm kidding, people. That's, that's strawberry Insure. I had to, I couldn't help myself. Because it is pink like the Insure, so... When I, when I first poured it out, it was the first thing I thought of was that I have to drink some of this stuff. So, excuse me for that. Anyway, getting back to the real pink resin, uh, it, it really doesn't smell that bad. And now it's in my printer right now. And even my normal resin, even though I have the inline fan and the charcoal filter and all that stuff, it's still kind of stinky in, in the room that I'm in, I have to be honest. And when, when my wife and my kids walk in, they're always like, oh man, it smells toxic in here. Even though I'm filtering it out and I have the window open. So really, it, I'm being honest now, if, if this, like right now to my printer, I actually don't really think I smell it right now. So, and even putting my nose in the bottle, it doesn't smell good. But when I get two, three feet away, I can't smell it anymore. Whereas you guys know from your normal resin, it's pretty stinky just, you know, anywhere around it at all. So I'm really hoping this prints out as well as any of the other resins I've used. You guys know I use Elegoo Gray mainly, but if this is non-toxic for real and prints as well, then obviously, you know, we're all gonna, we all should throw out our toxic resin and use this plant-based resin. The only downside I see to it right now is I, this bottle is about double the price of normal resin. It still might be worth it for health purposes, but that still does kind of suck. So I'm hoping that the, they'll bring the price of this down to the price of normal resin. Then obviously it'll be a no-brainer if it prints well and it's non-toxic. We should all be switching to this. So anyway, uh, let me hop out of here for now. Uh, the print has a couple hours. As soon as the print is done, I'm going to clean it up, cure it, take a bunch of photos, and then I will be back in this chair and I'll be talking to you again about my thoughts on this resin. And again, for anyone who had the sound off, don't, if you're reading lips, don't drink the resin. I was joking. It was a joke. That was not resin. It was strawberry and sure. Okay, so actually, let's take a look at the marking material. So this shows you that it's plant-based resins, uh, which means obviously it can't be bad for you because nothing bad ever came from a plant, right? Right? Well, maybe some bad things have come from plants, but anyway, hopefully this stuff isn't bad. I can't help but I'm looking at this stuff to, uh, to goof around a little bit. The next uh, slide they have on their website, I mean, this really tells you how good it is because look at this dude. Other resins are really stinky, and he has to hold his nose. But when he use a plant-based resin, not only does he look super happy, uh, it makes his shirt white, and he gets really white teeth. And I'm not sure I looked as happy when I was, you know, smelling the resin. But to look as happy as him and look like him, I'd have to lose 20 pounds, go back 20 years, and go on a serious Rogaine program. 
Next slide shows that this is truly eco-friendly because in the circle diagram, uh, it shows you this, basically the circle of life, like from The Lion King, I guess. And then the last thing shows you that regular resin smelly and plant-based resin is only slightly smelly. Ah, so I was right. It doesn't smell as great as they said. And the ingredients for the normal resin says industrial, which I guess means toxic chemicals. Um, so I, I just thought these slides were kind of funny, so I'd share them with you. Anyway, print is almost done. I'm going to be back in a few seconds, and then we'll take a look at it. So... It came off, I was very excited when I opened up the printer, I pulled this out, it looked like it had come out perfectly, and I'll be honest, it was hard to resist not taking a bite out of it. It reminds me of Strawberry Quick, uh, my Strawberry Insure, Pink Bubble Gum, I mean it just looks delicious. And it looked like it printed out perfectly. So what I was really concerned with is does it hold the same detail as my Elegoo Grey? Now I have to confess, I tried a lot of different ways to take pictures of this. But because it's, this is like the normal color, because it's a bright, and it's like a bright pink. Because it's like a bright bubblegum pink, I really had trouble finding a photograph style that would capture the detail. I think you can see most of it, so you have to take my word on this. It captured every bit as much detail as my Elegoo Gray, so I was really, really happy with this. Because I want to use a safe, non-toxic resin. I mean, I, you know, I joke around about a lot of stuff, but I'm really serious about this. And seeing as this printed out, I believe as good as my Elegoo Gray... Um, this bio resin is going to be, you know, going to be my go-to resin, especially if they make it in gray, because gray is a lot easier to photograph than this pink crap. Um, and again, though, but look at it. Don't you want to? Seriously, don't you want to bite that thing? Uh, anyway, so now I tried to photo it in some a couple different ways, like I told you, so you guys would see the detail. And I smell it. It's it's only about thirty percent cured when I'm showing these you these pictures because the sun went down so it's not even fully cured here it doesn't smell too strong it doesn't really smell good but it doesn't smell toxic like my body doesn't want to run away from it so i'm super duper impressed with this resin right now and because we're dealing with something that that we don't know the dangers of with the toxic version if what they say is true and this is truly non-toxic literally everyone should buy this i know it's more expensive than the regular resin and that's a bitch but we're talking about our health here, and no matter how careful you are, resin gets on you. You're breathing it in. I don't care what you do unless you're wearing like a full hazmat suit, which none of us are. Well, maybe one or two of you are, but most of us aren't. So I'm really, really impressed with this resin. I think everyone should be buying this. I went to buy more of the pink. It was already sold out, uh, even though I don't know how anyone knows about this. But anyway, I think everyone should get it. And the, and the last thing to remember, especially about this, about this pink, is that, man, it tastes... It tastes, watch me drink the resin, it tastes great. No, guys, remember, I didn't drink the resin. Okay, it's a joke. I didn't drink it. Don't drink resin. Look at this little sign. Don't drink the resin. So please like, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of educational videos on there about how to get great prints. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope everyone runs out and buys this uh, this resin. If you do, if you do me a favor, if you buy it through the link, it doesn't cost you extra, but it helps the channel out. All right, uh, again, thanks everyone and happy 3D printing.